What up, y'all? So, this is probably gonna be an Impala video. Well, not probably, but is. So, got a check engine light. Uh, I just left AutoZone, went to go check it. It's showing up that it's a P0496 is the code it's showing. So, I was thinking it was the gas cap. Gas cap still feel a little loose, but, uh, Heading to the house, I'm about to check this little, whatever this thing is called, and uh, I'm going to see if it feels a little off, so I'll catch y'all back on when I get to the house. Still one of the craziest things ever. We got a peacock watching, like, watch for peacock sign out here. Some exotic pets. Alright, so, let's hop out here and see what the deal is no my thought was it was a gas cap so uh what the system is showing is this canister purge valve let me get this off first yeah, whatever works All right, and it's hot and dirty. All right, all right, oil cap, get in there. So this is what their computers at AutoZone are saying what the problem is. Now, what I've been looking up is, it's only, it's a 10 millimeter bolt somewhere down here. I think it's at the bottom. But that, yeah, uh, can you see? Yep, so right under there, that 10 millimeter, that's the only thing holding it on. And this little push-in thing, so this should slide right off. <laughs> and my luck, it's a tough slide. Well, I'm going to let this cool off a minute and come back and try to slide this off. So, we're going to see. All right, what up, y'all? So, back out here. Take a break. But uh, I got the part off. So, uh, where to start? Okay, so this is hooked up here. You might not need to take it loose, but if you just want the extra space, Go ahead and just press in on the little green buttons and it's a pull straight off. That'll get out your way. Uh, this little thing was just, it was messing with me at first. But all you do is push this in and you just got to pull kind of hard and it'll come off. Uh, this was the plug that was in there. Simple. You just pull it like that, pop it off. But this is the actual piece that was here Yeah, so this was the piece that was in this area. It's just that one 10 millimeter bolt. It's a long bolt, but this was in there. Once you get that out, this pulls straight out. And the thing is, from what I hear, if the valve is bad, let me take this off real quick. So I don't lose that, but if the valve is bad, it'll have some suction out of this part. So I'm going to go ahead and crank it up real quick just so you can hear it. I haven't even bought the actual part yet, the replacement part. So I was just kind of playing with some stuff, just seeing maybe this was it, maybe it wasn't it. But I'm going to go ahead and turn this on so you can at least see the suction on it so you'll know that... I don't know when this is supposed to be on, but apparently it's not supposed to always be on. So, if it's always on, then that's your problem, and that's where your leak is. So, let me go ahead and crank this up real quick so you can see. So, car is running. Uh, maybe this is light enough for you to see.
so yeah. As you can see, it is sucking when it shouldn't be, so. That, that is supposed to be the sign for you to be able to tell if it's bad or not. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this other one. Well, yeah, go to AutoZone, pick up another one, and same process to put the new one on. So probably won't record putting the new one on, but it's basically the same process of taking it off. And once you get it put on, you still have to get your check engine light cleared. You have to drive it around for a while for one, but if that doesn't work, you should also just have somebody with a code reader or whatever to clear that code and then drive it around some more. And then you should be good. But so just in case any of y'all had that code pop up and you were a little curious, that's what it is. Alright y'all, so I'm back. Uh it's been so long I almost forgot what the problem was, but I got the part uh PV four seven nine. So I guess back to the Yeah, the car is super dirty. Like I said, I ain't I ain't been in it in a minute, but yeah, I ain't realize it was this bad. Yeah, I gotta start moving this thing. But anyway, the problem was like when you fill it up, it'll get to kind of stuttering a little bit and act like it want to cut off for a second. It's a real weird deal. But the the code it was throwing was saying that it was the purge valve, so. I got that. Uh, right here. So this is the new one. So I'm going to go ahead and get that old one out. Uh, same process from a minute ago in the video, which was actually, I don't know, weeks ago. I don't know. It's, it's been a minute, man. But yeah. So go ahead and get this stuff off and yeah we can get this piece swapped out so let's get rid of that uh see how easy this is to come off this time last time it was tough this time not so bad so that i don't know why this is playing with me there we go so that is out the way. Uh, 10 millimeter bolt down there. And we'll be good to go. So, ratchet. Yeah, so let me work this magic real quick and get this part off. All right, so new piece is on. And just for the sake of continuity, this isn't sucking at the moment so that's a plus so i know the valve is holding up how it's supposed to uh yeah so everything's back hooked up so hopefully shouldn't have any more problems dealing with that but uh like i said this is the part i went to autozone got it it was i think 40 dollars something like that so yeah i'll uh I'll let you know how it holds up after the next couple weeks or so. I'll, I'll probably drive a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you know. And if you got any questions, you know, like always, just hit me up in the comments.